This video is gonna be about the mass airflow sensor from this Toyota Corolla hybrid. I've got here a screenshot while the engine was running. On this car you need to press on the acceleration pedal to keep it up to 1500 RPMs. When the engine is running on the minimum RPM, the engine is consuming around 3.2 grams per second from what I've seen. So this is the normal spec you want to see. If you increase the engine speed, you should see as well the green line going up because the engine is consuming more air. Also the throttle position flap, this orange line should be in parallel more or less with the airflow sensor green line. Now let's see another example. So yeah, you can see here, I think the minimum is 201 volts. From this point, the engine will start and basically charge the hybrid battery. And here we have an interesting situation. You can see the mass airflow sensor is the purple and the load value is blue. Since this car is a hybrid, we've got here a start. So there is a load on the engine between the flywheel of the engine and the transmission. You've got the generator which will charge the hybrid battery and it's also going to start the engine but anyway in general it's completely normal at the beginning to be some extra load on the engine without much consumption of air but then we see once the load value is spiking up the mass airflow sensor is also following up if you see for example a big spike in the mass airflow sensor signal but you don't see the load value or the engine speed increasing in the same time then it means that the engine is able to take in the air but maybe let's say you've got a fuel delivery problem and the engine cannot make use of that air which enters into the cylinders you can use the mass airflow sensor data in many ways depending on the problem you have on the engine so on this car we've got the air filter housing here and the mass airflow sensor right here let's unplug it and it looks like we've got five wires, which means that we should have as well the intake air temperature sensor in the same unit. So you're gonna need a screwdriver. And that's a pretty loose connection here, you can see. So it basically relies on this gasket here. It looks like we've got here some oil. So if you wanna clean it, you gotta use this mass airflow sensor cleaner and let's let it dry. Inside there, we've got the intake air temperature sensor as well. All right, so while the sensor is drying, let's check up the voltage values from the connector. We gotta press the power button. Okay, so on this car, if the hybrid battery is low, the engine will start. And if you have disconnected the sensor, you get that annoying message that you have to visit the workshop. That's why I had to reconnect this mass airflow sensor, erase the codes. So now I can do a resistance test on the sensor itself. We've got the markings here, the pin numbers, and it means that when I was testing the voltage of the connector, I begin basically from pin number five. So we've got pin number five here and pin number one on this side. So it's 10 between one and two, between one and three, it's 10 again, one and four open, one and five open. Between two and three, 8.8 thousand .8 ohms. Between two and four open, two and five open, three and four open, three and five open. Between five and four, 1.6 thousand ohms. So these are the resistance values of the mass airflow sensor. Now let's install it back. Okay guys, so that was pretty much it about the math sensor on this car. Have a nice day, take care and I will see you in the next video.